Hey guys, welcome back to the Drone Camps channel. I'm Justin Davis, and today I have something new from GearBest.com. You know, people ask me often, Justin, why do you fly those toy drones? Why do you fly those little cheapies? Well, because they're fun, and they're fun to show off to the kids, or somebody new just watching the channel that doesn't want to spend a lot of money, that wants to have a little bit of fun, and find out if they're actually interested in flying drones. So, I'm going to be a good ambassador to the sport, and I'm going to show off the cheaper stuff too. So this one is pretty neat. It does have Wi-Fi on board and an app you can download in iOS or Android. So three flight modes on there as well, fast, medium, and slow. So it's going to give it a little more racer feel to it. And you also have a decent accessory pack that comes along with it. You have some props in here, your little USB charger for your battery, and I believe a little mini screwdriver for maintenance on your hexacopter. Now, you did notice that it is different than a quadcopter. It has six rotors on here instead of four. So let's go ahead, let's take out the cheetah and give it a test flight. Hey guys, I'm Justin Davis with Drone Camps. So I'm here today with the G-Tang Cheetah and it's a little hexacopter. We're gonna go ahead and set it down and do a flight test for you. I have the app open and you can see the Wi-Fi is working, pointing at the mural over there. Pretty cool colors over there on that mural. So I'm gonna fly in front of that have a nice blue sky above me as well so I'm gonna go ahead and set it down and it is gonna fly off the app so I have throttle on the left and my roll pitch and yaws on the left as well so I can go ahead and take off now to arm it you're gonna go sticks down into the left and right so now it's armed and I can fly it directly off the app now I'm gonna go ahead and press record here so now we're recording our video I can go ahead and take off There's a little bit of wind, so it's gonna wander just a little bit. I forgot to close the battery door, but that's okay. It has a nice little landing gear on the bottom. Go up a little higher. You don't wanna fly too high with this one, guys, because you know what, it's, uh, it's Wi-Fi controlled, so you wanna keep it close. And I'm going to test my pilot skills here with the app. It's usually a little harder to fly with the app versus the controls, but I wanted to give it a shot anyway. And you can see I, I do have my video up on the screen, so I can see where I'm flying to. I'm going to try to come down a little bit before I land on the building. Pretty cool mural over there. For the, looks like a dog and a squirrel or some shit. All right, coming a little closer now. It actually flies really good. It's pretty stable for a hexi for a little hexacopter usually the hexacopters are really fast but this one's flying nice and slow it does have three speed modes I'm in that middle mode right now which is about medium speed it seems to fly really really well I think you could even fly this one indoors I'm gonna try not to crash but you know what it might happen you might get to see a crash today does look really neat in the air. The orange makes it really easy to see. My throttle is kind of boosting a little bit sometimes because probably because of the flying it off the phone. I do want to go higher of course but you know I better not. It's a little bit windy. And that's pretty much hands off right there just drifting just a tiny bit but that's because of the wind all right come back almost on the roof it's got like a little tiny pinhole camera but it is adjustable you can change the angle of it on the front of it I believe Now the wind's caught a little bit. I'm gonna come down before I go over that fence over there. There we go, good save. Almost went in their backyard into the bamboo. Try to come a little closer. The wind is really pushing it right now. But it has a nice landing gear on it. So if we do have to land in the grass, we can. Now I'm gonna come over here and land for a second. Just make my first attempt at a landing. Oh, almost hit the camera. So I'll come down a little lower. All right, nice, not bad. 
not bad at all. So I'm still recording on the cam. And I'll go ahead and do another takeoff. It should just have an, have an auto takeoff. All right, hit the button, we'll see what happens. Nice. I believe the battery might be dying, folks. But it does fly really well with all this wind. Gonna come a little closer. And this one's good on days where there's no wind at all, but it really does look cool in the air. Look at that. This one's, you know, for the kids or for somebody who just wants to learn how to fly. You can also fly it with the transmitter without the app, so that's also really cool. I like that a lot. It has functions on the transmitter as well. All the same functions you can get on the transmitter as you can do in the app. I'm still recording. We've been flying for about four minutes. And it seems to want to fly really slow or really fast, either way. So, a little bit of a crash land in there. I think the battery's getting kind of low. I'll try one more time. Just for you guys. Thanks for joining us again today. Let's see if I can get one more. Okay, we'll do an auto takeoff maybe. If I have enough battery. Looks like that might be the end of my battery. Yeah guys, so about five minutes on that battery. It's not too bad. So that's been the G-Tang Cheetah. Thanks again for watching that video, you guys. That was a lot of fun. This is a super cool little hexacopter. You can check one of these out in the link below. This is from our friends over at GearBest.com. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one.